Hi, I'm Steve Hosher with Razor Gauge, and I'm going to explain the mechanism for the new Cyclone 600 upcut saw. Here is the saw assembly itself. This is what drops into the frame uh, to make the saw. This is the top plate. We've got it tipped on its side. This would be facing the ceiling. Here is the saw mechanism itself. Our spindle motor, which rides on linear bearings mounted to steel supports that mount to the bottom of the top plate. The top plate is a Blanchard ground plate, so the top and bottom are parallel. That ensures that we're going to have a nice square action down here on the bottom. You can see how easy this moves. This is a precision linear bearing system, and it provides us extreme rigidity so that we can control the blade as it's cutting through the material. Uh, in order to make sure that the blade is parallel to this sliding motion, we have a simple adjustment that allows this motor to pivot. And we'll walk around here, and you can see how that works. This is the part of the motor that would be facing the outside of the saw, so this would be very easily accessible. You can see here there are little blocks with a set screw both on the, what would be the top and the bottom uh, of this plate that the motor's mounted to. And we can use those set screws to adjust the angle to get that blade running true to the sliding motion so that the blade isn't crabbing through the material which will leave tool marks. So by doing these things we make it easy to get an excellent cut. 